Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And first of all, guys, <laughs> I always laugh when I see this little joke. Ethereum rip off merchants, Bitcoin rip off merchants, XRP, the answer to solving a worldwide monetary system. Stand by, we about to go to the moon. After paying all these gas fees, Ethereum logo makes sense to me. <laughs> I just always laugh whenever I see this, mostly from the perspective that Ethereum is very good. However, it is very freaking expensive. And as of this point, so is Bitcoin. <laughs> if we're talking purely about a fee perspective, XRP does make indeed a lot of sense. Then again, today's video is more about Bitcoin in the sense that guys, I believe every single person investing in the crypto space right now is probably preparing for some crazy increase in value of their own value I'm talking about. Because I personally believe most people who right now are in the crypto space will end up a millionaire pretty soon. And I'm not exactly sure if everybody is going to get there because of course it does require some effort and some uh, knowledge or luck in that sense and a little bit of capital. But the majority of people will get there and it's not going to be as difficult as most expect. Let's cover the news today to kind of back that up. So one of the parts, I should say, is usually how we basically put out Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin obviously is on a very good upwards path. And as I've said before, guys, Bitcoin is not the currency which I'm buying right now. Bitcoin is the main currency that shows the market. So whenever Bitcoin goes up, all coins generally go up, however, a little bit more severe. And so wherever Bitcoin goes is the direction that the market goes is the direction where our money goes. <laughs> so Bitcoin needs to go that direction, you know, the upward side, the, the reds, and that's literally what we're seeing. But also, if you just zoom out, the longer term, it just looks for Bitcoin to keep going up and up and up and up. And mind you, this is a logarithmic chart, which is why it's downwards slow. Or basically, it's going up, but descending up, you know? So the reason this is so important is because a lot of people panic and think, huh, yeah, so we're going to crash and should I sell? Should I panic? Should, is it over? When in reality, it all comes down to, hmm, at what point could I best potentially sell some coins to buy them back cheaper to get extra quickly to a million dollars, for example, or to a billion dollars? Because at the end, the destination is set. Everybody is going to increase their value of their portfolio in due time by probably a huge margin. If you ask me, not financial advice, because at the end of the day, nobody knows, but I think so. So the only thing you can kind of better yourself with is how exactly do I get myself there faster? There's two ways about it. One, you sell and you buy cheaper. Or two is you buy the proper altcoins that just gain faster. Right now, I believe option two is the best one. Then again, there's often some contradictory opinions on the matter. The end of the matter stays the same though. Things are going upwards. So any buy that anybody places right now will eventually be worth more. It just might take a little bit of time. And that's an important thing to, to realize for some people here, that in due time, things will keep going up. The only question is what? And then how? And why do we know? Well, one thing to back it up by is, for example, El Salvador to build their first Bitcoin city backed by Bitcoin bonds. Many Salvadorians are skeptical about Bitcoin and its bumpy introduction has fueled protests against the government. Then again, we all know that it's just the first city to do it, but every single city in the world will eventually go towards this, 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 this standard. Or I should say every country in the world, not every city, maybe. Eventually, we're going to get there. It's just piece by piece by piece building. But we have the direction and we know the pace at which they're going. Now, there's also some crazy crypto partnerships that we've seen. Crypto partnerships flourish in English Premier League, drawing concerns from supporters. Football team partnerships with crypto firms have increased during the pandemic due to lack of fan attendance at games. Launch of fan tokens creates unique experiences for fans and gives them access to exclusive content. These partnerships have drawn opposing reactions from fans as obviously some say, hey, what you doing over there? And some are pretty excited as it brings more money to the team at the end of the day. So all I have to say about this one is who cares about what the fans think about it? It's mostly from, for us from a crypto development perspective in the sense that them being able to advertise for such a huge mainstream audience is a good step. But it's most importantly, an important step for making it mainstream. Because how do you get something mainstream? Well, by streaming it, for example, to uh, the NFL, 
to FIFA or whatever the frick, the, 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 to maybe a UFC, to all those things which a lot of people that are not necessarily into crypto watch. Just a UEFA, I want to say. Just football, American football, tennis. You pick the freaking sport, all right? If you push it over there, a lot of people are going to watch that have never heard about it before. And again, a lot of people watch the Super Bowl, for example. A lot of people do. So if you're on that, you can definitely understand it's going to draw a lot of people in. And at the end of the day, once a person is introduced to crypto, they're officially part of the family. They can never get back out of it. Even if they don't like it, they know about crypto, which is at the end of the day what crypto adoption uh, matters for, from, whatever. All right, now... Another fun thing I just saw is the more and more payment options that arise. From some perspective, this is really an ethical dilemma or a moral dilemma, I should say, because I usually think, oh, this is so beautiful. This is so good, so cool. You can buy things with crypto. Amazing. Then I think, hmm, you can actually use a crypto.com card and, and basically get this in a really much easier fashion. And then I also think, why would anybody want to sell their crypto for a freaking depreciating asset like a Lamborghini? Look at the article. If you can now buy Lambo with Shiba Inu in Las Vegas, who would do that? Why? 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 Uh, mostly from the dealer as well. Why would you accept Shiba Inu, such a volatile asset for such an, I guess, relatively expensive thing? It's it's mind-boggling to me. I guess it's just the appeal of them being able to switch it over and sell the Shiba Inu instantly when they get it, and people being able to kind of go and make a jokey transaction because, in theory, you can just buy the Shiba Inu. Send it to them, they can sell it. Nothing really happened to the market. Nothing really happened except for you officially paying with Chiba. But I don't really get why this would be such a big deal. And I don't really understand as well why, as a dealer, why you don't just accept every crypto from the get-go. I guess maybe because it's an accounting nightmare, but theoretically speaking, right, you could just sell every single crypto that you get on the market. And if you just mark up the price, but for example, 1%, People that pay with crypto don't care about the 1% difference because they can pay with crypto now, I guess, right? And so you can instantly sell it to the markets, boom, nothing really changed, and you most likely get some additional clientele. The only thing maybe is money laundering, but I guess there's a, a little issue that you have to fix with cash payments and whatnot as well. But you guys get my drift, right? It's, it's an interesting little moral dilemma because paying with crypto is cool because it allows for massive adoption, but who would want to spend their crypto? All right, then I also saw... Okay, this officially marks the third time that I cut out my Microsoft or my <laughs> microphone cord. And that basically means my recording shots off and I have to kind of bind things together, which takes an additional like 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to hate my life for a little bit. Having said that, Binance backs cryptocurrency regulations Biden obliges. Two things to say right there. One, crypto regulations are going in towards the right direction, even though there's a couple of hiccups along the way and right now they're not looking good. The fact that rules are being made is a proper thing. And once more, guys, even though a lot of the decisions, a lot of the ideas might sound really bad right now, they're being thought of. And they're, they're for, from a certain perspective, also thought-provoking. So let's say, for example, we look at the infrastructure bill. The definition of a broker is really bad, which basically means DeFi would die out in the U.S. However, there's millions of people who don't want to let that happen, and so they're going to fight for it. What does that mean? More and more attention is being brought to crypto, and eventually I do think it will be fixed. But the, the first of the battle... The more attention it gets, the better the rules eventually will be as well. Now, uh, Binance here and Coinbase apparently clamored to back new Bitcoin regulations just as President Joe Biden signs the cryptocurrency tax into law in the U.S. And apparently things are moving, right? And Ripple is always at the center of things. If you ask me, it's, it's really good that things are moving, but they're moving too slow. I just need some more controversy in the regulation space for... <laughs> I guess it's just to get more attention. I don't know. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a guy that likes the attention in that sense. You know, I like the attention of crypto. Even though it might be for negative regulatory things, eventually they do fix themselves, I guess. Except for China. That was just pure bad. All right, Avix. I want to make a video specifically about Avix here shortly because it's one of my favorite cryptos right now, guys. And I still believe it can hit $60 billion market cap in like this year even. It could definitely happen. I keep shouting that on the channel. Avalanche value surges, reaching an all-time high, and Avix joins the top 10 crypto. It's really going amazing for Avix. Really juicy to see, really excited for them. Really, really good steps right down the back to number 11, um, but still doing really, really proper $133 for that crypto. That is juicy to watch. Doing really, really well, so I'm kind of proud of them. Now, from the same perspective, guys, I'm also buying myself a ton of VT right now, and even this article here says... 
Is Veechin a good long-term bet in a portfolio? I would say yes. Not financial advice, but I honestly believe that Veechin is so strong from the perspective that can never be shut down. Chinese government backs them sort of as they have the connections over there, but also all the fundamentals are set in place for Veechin to have a long-lasting, really, really beautiful relationship towards the top. I just, I just think Veechin is on a really, really good path. To kind of come back on Bitcoin, by the way, here's the Bitcoin entire adoption life cycle. I don't really need to show you all the points to just kind of tell you. Bitcoin's adoption right now is at a point where it's not everything just quite yet. But it is on such a good curve here to just get main adoption. I don't think there's any way in which anybody can stop it anymore either. So if we actually do a couple of steps back here to talk not only about altcoins but about Bitcoin... Whenever Bitcoin gets an adoption, all coins will keep surging more and more and more until we get to a point where they decouple. We're not that close to any real crypto decoupling, though, I think, unless we really get the metaverse that pop in where a couple of those coins might go. Or the Binance Smart Chain, I guess, could be a good example. Or maybe like a crypto.com because they stand completely uh, aside from what Bitcoin does, being a completely sort of separate entity. The adoption for Bitcoin will always be good for alts, which is why everybody pushes towards the same goal and why everybody's excited about Bitcoin. But it is happening piece by piece, piece by piece. And you're seeing that back in everything that we show on this channel as well. All right. And let's quickly see here. Okay, I guess this article just got deleted. Yeah, I think so. I think my article got deleted. It's gone now because the website is not showing it anymore. I'm not exactly sure what it was supposed to be here. <laughs> I thought it was a crypto.com article that I had somewhere, but maybe it's gone now. All right, JP Morgan reports says XRP is poised for significant adoption. I keep sharing that, guys. Ripple's XRP, so to speak, is going to get so far. There's almost nobody that can stop it either. There's so much issues right now with Bitcoin and so many things that people are putting up. At the end, it's all attention. Ripple's lawsuit as well. It's all attention to crypto. Eventually, everything will fix itself, even though the intermediary might be annoying. But remember, guys, what I showed you at the start. We know the curve. We know where it's headed. We know how it's going. It's going to be volatile throughout the journey, but we know where we are going. So a lot of this attention is just a good thing at the end of the day. You might disagree, but I personally think we are completely right on that one. And I guess here we have, as a joke, to end it off here, a couple of the Ethereum fees. So one thing I shouldn't actually forget here, guys, because last video I didn't actually mention it quite properly enough. I hope that by the time I upload this, it's not already done and over. The Winkyverse, which I talked to you guys about just a little bit in my previous video, I didn't mention it properly, though, guys, I personally think. So the Winkyverse is the first global educational games metaverse. But guys, this one is possible to buy right now. And again, a couple of the guys that I know really well, Satoshi Stacker and Kyle, uh, one really famous YouTuber, one is the founder of, a, I guess, a big, um, how do you call it, launchpad and a couple other ventures like that, proper team. I'm buying into this, but there's really a little bit of a hurry in the sense that there's not really that much to go around. And I do think that this might sell out pretty quickly. So I'm just letting you guys know I'm going to be buying into that one. And we have the, the I guess, access to it right now for the pre-sale. Letting you guys know, not exactly sure what the requirements are because I'm going to look into that right now. But I just wanted to let you guys know before the sale is over, um, as I already missed round one and round two. I noticed that it was alive, basically, this project whilst in round two. But when I did my little research, it took me like an hour or two, and then the sale was like finished. So a little bit of a problem with that. Right now is round three. I'm going to be buying in, as you guys most likely have heard me say right now. And you can read more into what it is. You can read the white paper, light paper, everything that you want. But most importantly, I think, is it's freaking metaverse, educational games, just two, I guess three, you can call it, huge concepts added together, backed by top investors, a lot of clients already out there. Over 250 media releases, all that stuff. You can read into it if you really, really want to. But I personally just go by my gut and by the proper backing. <laughs> not, not only my gut because I can't really trust that, but proper backing, proper guys in there. Yeah, yeah, I think this is going to do really well as well. Not sure if it's going to be a 100x gem. Not sure about that. I'm not sure about the tokenomics like that. But as I've said before... I am buying in like a freaking madman. So now you guys know. All right, having said that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. And I will definitely see you guys again in another crypto video later today.